Welcome to Stuff and Futurity Tube. Did you know that protecting your body from disease is your responsibility? And, in order to protect your body from diseases, you must provide it with the necessary nutrients to function well? Did you know that most of the diseases that people suffer from are rooted in a lack of their diet? Do you have the desire and will to learn about the real food your body needs? What are you waiting for? Let your food be your medicine, and avoid visiting the doctor. Learn all about nutrient substances effortlessly and let yourself be your own nutrition specialist. This is the first video of Eat Your Vitamins series. What are you thinking about vitamins? Vitamins are organic substances or compounds distinct from fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. Are essential, usually in minute amounts for the body needs to grow and develop normally. In particular, vitamins have widely varying biochemical functions, which convert fats and carbohydrates into energy and help to form bone and tissue. That is, maintenance, growth, development, and or production. Generally, Vitamins cannot be synthesized in amounts sufficient to meet normal bodily physiological needs, therefore most vitamins need to come from food as the body either does not produce them or produces very little amounts. Moreover, vitamins are natural components of foods in which they are usually present in minute amounts distributed in natural food sources. Vitamins caused by their absence or underutilization, a specific deficiency syndrome, there are general characteristics of vitamins. 1. Vitamins are required for the many physiologic functions essential to life among the nutrients. 2. Vitamins don't serve structural functions, nor does their catabolism provide significant energy, unlike other classes of nutrients. 3. Each various use of vitamins tends to be highly specific, and, for that reason, the vitamins are required in only small amounts in the diet. 4. Most vitamins require some metabolic activation to their functional forms. 5. Although the vitamins share these general characteristics, they show few close chemical or functional similarities, their categorization as vitamins being strictly empirical. What is the regulatory role of vitamins? The vitamins regulate reactions that occur in metabolism, and distinct from other nutrition compounds referred to as macronutrients, for example, proteins, carbohydrates, fats, which are substances utilized in the reactions regulated by vitamins. The absence of a vitamin blocks one or more specific metabolic reactions within a cell and also may ultimately deactivate the metabolic balance in a cell and the entire organism. How do vitamins work? Many vitamins function as enzyme cofactors, vitamin A, K, and C, thiamine, niacin, riboflavin, vitamin B6, biotin, pantothenic acid, folate, and vitamin B12, whereas, not all enzyme cofactors are vitamins. Some vitamins function as biological antioxidants, vitamin E and C. Many vitamins function as cofactors in metabolic oxidation reduction reactions, vitamin E, K, and C, niacin, riboflavin, and pantothenic acid. 2. Vitamins, vitamin A and D, function as hormones. One amongst them, vitamin A, serves as a photoshopative cofactor in vision, how to get your vitamins. The best way to get the vitamins you need is to eat a balanced diet with a variety of foods, rather than supplements. Your body can also make vitamins D and K. Most older people can also get all the vitamins they need from food, but in some cases, they may need to take vitamin supplements, but they must ask their doctor, or their dietitian first, to find out if they are missing any important vitamins. Too much of some vitamins can be harmful and cause problems. How did the vitamin sources taking develop? Before 1935, food was the only source of vitamins. Then, commercially produced tablets became available, of yeast extract vitamin B complex and semi-synthetic vitamin C. In 1950, there were mass production and marketing of vitamin supplements. Governments mandated the addition of vitamins to essential foods such as flour or milk, referred to as food fortification. How are vitamins divided and classified? There are 13 essential vitamins your body needs. Vitamins A, C, D, E, K, and the B vitamins, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, pantothenic acid, biotin, B6, B12, and folate. 
vitamins either designed by alphabet letters as vitamin A, C, or by chemical names as niacin and folic acid. Vitamins are commonly divided into two groups, water-soluble and lipid-soluble categories. Lipid-soluble vitamins, fat-soluble vitamins, can accumulate in stored fat, whereas excess water-soluble vitamins are excreted through the urine. How is the term of vitamins originating and derived? In the late 19th century, with the work of Dutch physician and pathologist Christian Ijkman, had emerged some of the first evidence for the existence of vitamins. In 1890, polyneuritis, which is a nerve disease, had broken out among his laboratory chickens. And he noticed that this disease was similar to the polyneuritis associated with the nutritional disorder beriberi. In 1897 he discovered that polyneuritis was caused due to feeding the chickens a polished white rice diet, but polyneuritis disappeared when the animals were fed unpolished rice. In 1906-1907, Sir Frederick Golan Hopkins who is British biochemist observed that animals can't synthesize certain amino acids and concluded that growth couldn't be supported by macronutrients and salts alone. In 1912, Casimir Funk who is a Polish biochemist, had isolated a complex of micronutrients essential to life, all of which he presumed to be amines, and coined this as vitamins, from vital amines meaning essential to life. When this presumption was determined not to be true later, the E was dropped from the name. All vitamins were identified between 1913 and 1948, in the next video I will let you know in detail what are the water-soluble vitamins and the fat-soluble vitamins, and their functions and sources. Thanks for watching.